WRTV Streaming News is sponsored by Tom Wood Group. From Indy Streaming News Leader, this is a WRTV update. I'm WRTV's Rafael Sanchez and these are your latest headlines. One man is dead after an exchange of gunfire led to Metro Police shooting and killing him. This happened near Brookside Park on the near east side of Indianapolis on Thursday afternoon. Metro Police say they originally pulled over the 48-year-old man because he was wanted for several violent warrants. The police say the suspect stepped out of the passenger seat and likely fired shots first at the officers. Three officers who fired their weapons are now on paid administrative leave, which is standard procedure. Developers are drawing up new plans for Lafayette Square Mall. It will soon be named The Square. The re-envisioned re space will now have shopping, dining, housing and a concert venue, among many of the amenities. This plan is quite different than the one that Soho's Capital first announced almost two years ago. The owner says half of the existing mall will be torn down to create the new multi-use property. Indigo rolling out its plans to help fans navigate the NBA All-Star Weekend here in Indianapolis to make it much easier for you. The transit company will offer free rides across the Circle City during those festivities. And this include all the routes starting Friday, the February the 15th, all the way through Sunday the 18th. Indigo is also extending service times on those high frequency routes. Let's check your forecast with Todd Clausen. Yeah, as we go throughout the day today, lots of clouds around, some patchy drizzle at times, and just overall kind of a dreary day still. Temperatures won't move much because of that cloud cover. A lower 40s across most of central Indiana throughout the afternoon hours. If you're heading to the Pacers game uh, this evening or just have Friday evening plans, your temperatures will be in the 40s uh, with mostly cloudy skies and mainly dry conditions. Again, some patchy drizzles possible. Possible off and on throughout the day. Now tomorrow we start with a little bit of patchy fog once again. The first half of the day is dry with overcast skies, but look for rain to develop as we work our way throughout the course of the evening hours. Raphael. TK, thanks for that. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday morning on Good Morning Indiana beginning at 5 a.m. to track the latest weather conditions. Download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.